Hello and welcome to Why AWS for Digital Transformation. My name is Ben Schreiner. I'm a business development leader here at AWS. And I'm looking forward to sharing some information with you today. We're all adjusting to what we think will be the, the next normal. Things have definitely changed for all of our businesses and IT has had to adjust to all kinds of challenges. And I know each and every one of you have more than one number one priority, um, which is hard in a uh, binary world to have more than one. Uh, but in IT, most of us have something to do with helping our company uh, generate revenue or controlling costs. Many of you have service levels to, uh, to keep up uh, or are trying to create new uh, services or engagement models with your customers. And there are several factors driving companies to the cloud. We've seen an increase uh, in the digital transformations that companies are undertaking. And the big ones certainly are digital transformation, uh, the search for or the seeking of agility and staff productivity, uh, improving security and resiliency, and always cost is a driver. I'd like to share a mental model with you of a modern digital business. Uh, and we see this pattern uh, again and again as I talk to customers. Many are looking to find ways to stay connected to their customers and be customer obsessed. Uh, they're looking to be able to innovate uh, fast and, and try new things. Uh, most companies are looking to leverage data in a strategic way. Uh, we're all trying to figure out how to be productive remotely. Uh, and finally, uh, a modern digital business needs to be built on a secure and elastic uh, technology foundation. So we're going to dive into each of those uh, at a high level. So here at Amazon, uh, our mission is to be uh, the Earth's most customer-centric uh, company. Uh, doesn't limit us very much, right? Uh, only to, uh, to Earth. And we do that uh, focused on uh, our leadership principles. Uh, and here at Amazon, uh, everybody is a leader. And these are our, our leadership principles that we all operate under. Uh, and they're great. Uh, and many of them drive uh, our customer obsession there at the top, uh, but also thinking big and uh, trying new things, uh, learning and being curious. Uh, all of them foster uh, a sense of being customer obsessed and focusing on our customers. Uh, and to do that, we innovate in a very unique way. Uh, we work backwards from our customers, uh, leveraging uh, and writing press releases on, uh, on how things will be when a new product or service is, uh, is created. Uh, we create an FAQ of the questions we think customers uh, would ask about the product, and we create visuals uh, to support those. And this helps us uh, develop services that are grounded in customer feedback because we continue to be customer obsessed. Next, uh, all of our customers are looking to leverage data. There's no shortage of data. There's, we're creating uh, you know, just an incredible amount of information every single day. Uh, but finding ways to tap into that information uh, is key, uh, and it's, it's difficult for some companies. So finding ways to speed up decision making, uh, using data to deepen your customer relationships, uh, or even using data to reduce uh, business risk, uh, all can be done if you have a way to aggregate the information in one place and have tools to be able to dig into that information and extract out insights. That's where artificial intelligence can play a role. Uh, we're seeing 75% of uh, commercial applications baking uh, AI into, uh, into their software from IDC's research in 2019. Uh, again, for the reasons I just made it, it's, uh, it's to make software better, uh, make it more intelligent, and really leverage the rich information there that is there that just humans can't process. So uh, applying machine learning and an artificial intelligence in software makes a lot of sense. And then you need a way to visualize that information so that uh, you know, humans like you and me can actually uh, make decisions uh, and interpret the information. Uh, so it's great to be able to have uh, dashboards like this uh, with our Amazon Quick Site that allows for interactive dashboards uh, bubbling up insights uh, so that uh, decision makers can make decisions to improve uh, their businesses or create new products. Uh, lastly, we've got, uh, or sorry, uh, we've got remote productivity. Uh, certainly, uh, we are all uh, trying to find ways to become more product productive. Uh, and remote productivity, uh, the keys there are, are security. Uh, it's got to be secure. Uh, it's got to scale. I think uh, uh, you know, work is going to ebb and flow as we continue to adjust to the business challenges uh, that we all face. 
Uh, and ideally, you're able to start up this capability and only pay for what you use uh, versus investing heavily uh, in a bunch of uh, infrastructure. And to do that, we offer a, a cloud desktop uh, called uh, Amazon Workspaces. Uh, and this is all about keeping your data secure, uh, being scalable, uh, reducing the cost to provide this service, and simplifying the delivery uh, of, a, of a workspace. Next, if you don't need a full workspace, but just to stream an application to your constituents, uh, we've got Amazon AppStream 2.0. It allows you to deliver a, a, to a desktop um, uh, an application. Uh, you manage that application, provide updates and, uh, uh, and upgrades, uh, and it can be integrated into your existing IT. And again, the effort here is to reduce the cost by not providing an entire desktop when you don't need it. Provide what your users need when they need it. Also important for users to be able to collaborate, and Amazon WorkDocs provides that. It's a, a, a place to store and share inf uh, information and, and documents. Uh, you can collaborate, you can easily onboard new users uh, onto the platform or offboard users uh, who are no longer needing uh, access. Uh, and always important to be compliant with uh, HIPAA or PCI uh, as you're dealing with documents that may contain uh, sensitive information. Remote communication and collaboration, uh, very important uh, for businesses that are trying to modernize their engagement model. Uh, Amazon Chime is, is how we uh, connect with each other uh, inside our own organization and is available for others to, uh, to leverage. Uh, allows you to uh, uh, bake uh, or actually build uh, the product's capability into uh, uh, your own application via SDKs uh, in a way to, again, have voice, audio, uh, online meetings, uh, and again, only paying for, uh, for what you use. A bunch of customers are leveraging uh, or have a need for engaging customers in a new and different way. And a virtual contact center uh, has allowed many of our customers uh, to be able to engage uh, with a virtual call center, allowing their agents to uh, work from home uh, or from wherever they happen to be. All 100% cloud-based, uh, available within hours. Uh, you're able to create routes um, and uh, intelligently process workflows. Uh, and you only pay for, again, what you use. And then the last pillar of this modern digital business mental model is that secure elastic technology foundation. Migrating to the cloud and certainly AWS gives you an opportunity to elevate your security um, and leverage some of the best practices in the industry. Uh, we hold ourselves to a very high standard uh, when it comes to privacy of data and you protect your data uh, and our shared responsibility model. Uh, you can leverage a large um, pool of uh, partners that have uh, industry expertise and very specific security knowledge. Uh, and then we have a, a host of security applications uh, that are available in our marketplace. Uh, and our platform, uh, the uh, AWS platform itself, has a number, as you can see here, of security um, and compliance controls. Uh, we've been validated by third parties, um, and this should give you confidence, uh, again, that third parties are validating the level at which we protect the infrastructure, uh, and then we give you all the tools to make it easy for you to protect your applications and data on top of uh, the cloud. So we protect uh, the cloud itself and, and make that available to you uh, and the physical security and the network security around it. Uh, and then you are responsible uh, for protecting your data via encryption uh, in transit uh, or at rest. Uh, and then uh, making sure that your applications are secure. And again, a bunch of best practices uh, exist in artifacts uh, to be able to help you uh, make sure that your environment is secure as possible. So in a nutshell, why the cloud uh, for your infrastructure? And it's simple. Um, it's agility, uh, improved reliability, uh, being able to pay for only what you use and not having to provision uh, for peak capacity uh, and allow for scalability. Uh, if you're starting to have wait times, you can easily scale out uh, applications that are able to handle uh, increased load and all while maximizing uh, security along the way. You may be thinking why customers use AWS, uh, and here's a few of the, the highlights. Uh, we have millions of customers. Uh, we have uh, a bunch of availability zones, uh, 76 to be exact, uh, and 24 geographic reasons. 
Uh, security I mentioned already, but uh, more than 200 security features um, and a ton of partners to be able to help you make the most uh, of your AWS experience. So uh, can't stress enough uh, that you can save money um, on the platform and we continue to innovate uh, uh, all the time on our services. We have the most uh, services and the most features within those services than any other company uh, out there. Uh, and uh, you'll see here Gartner's Magic Quadrant. We've been recognized for the 10th straight year uh, for our uh, capabilities. Um, and again, uh, ability to execute uh, and the extensiveness of our vision, uh, again, has us in the top right uh, position uh, in Gartner's Magic Quadrant. So overall, the benefits of our global infrastructure, number one, security. Uh, many companies improve their security posture uh, and by leveraging uh, AWS, focusing on securing their applications versus physical security and the network security uh, between uh, their uh, virtual data center. Um, availability uh, becomes important. Uh, it's very easy within AWS to leverage uh, our uh, elastic capabilities to make applications more available, um, improving performance by scaling them out, uh, which leads into scalability. We have more instances to allow for you to upgrade instances uh, as you need. Uh, and then flexibility. Again, that pay-as-you-go model really does make a difference uh, for uh, affordability and allowing you to actually try new things and experiment very quickly um, at very reduced risk. Uh, if an experiment doesn't work out, you can just shut down the instance and you no longer uh, pay for it. And AWS does this at such scale that we pass those savings uh, along to our customers, lowering prices uh, over 80 times uh, since we were, uh, uh, in, uh, since we uh, began uh, AWS. So we'd love to engage with you and help you transform your business today. Uh, if any of these uh, are of interest in learning more, we encourage you to engage your AWS uh, contacts uh, or seek some of the other sessions to learn more. I thank you for your time today. Really appreciate it. And there's a short survey. Uh, we'd appreciate your feedback.